Sister Christ, y'all. Um, I went to sleep early, y'all. And um, it's like 10 something tonight, right now. And this will go, I'm going to share my dream with y'all that I woke out of. Y'all, it was so, it was so sad. I seen this grandma, you know, these children. It was this woman and her daughter that was driving in this RV. Like they traveling and they had a lot of kids in the back. This was a woman, her grand, the grandma was driving and her daughter was on the passenger side. And in the back of the RV, they didn't have no seats. It was just children sitting on the ground. And, you know, they were just sitting there riding in the back. But they had the door open. And they was traveling on this, um, <coughs> it was dark. And they was traveling on this road. You know how these roads like this have like the cliffs? It got the cliffs like this going on it. So this woman was traveling. The grandma was driving up on these cliffs, on these mountains. And the kids started sliding out the van. I mean, out the RV, sliding and going off the cliff. It was just all of them sliding. And it was a baby that was on the ground. I could say it's about at least about five or six of these children, y'all. They was riding in the back of the RV. The door was slid open. And I think the grandma, they didn't even know that the door was open. So she riding on these curves, on this mountain with the cliffs, and the children sliding out of them, just dying. And so finally when she got to a, a ready to a stop, she looked back to check on the children, and it was one child, that the one that was crawling, like he was holding on to the end of the thing, of the door, of the opening. And they was at the edge of the cliff, still on the cliff where she stopped. So when she got up to try to go get the little boy, the little boy fell in the cliff, fell down and died. So as her and the daughter was trying to go get the child, why? Two demons. These demons, they were demons and they had wings. And they stopped the woman and the, and the woman and, the, and uh, the grandma and stopped them from going. Told them that they couldn't go. Because they had that the kids was theirs. And then at the end of it, it was this man that was at this place and he was doing an interview. Like he was at this stage and, he, and they, was, they was interviewing him and asking him, because they think it was a mystery or something. And they asked the man, how did he know? And he said that the Lord showed him. Y'all was so sad. I don't know why I had this dream, y'all. So I said, let me get up here and share this with y'all so I can have a recording also of this dream. Y'all was so sad. The grandma, she was like a short kind of chubby lady. They were Caucasian. She had curly hair, white curly hair. Her daughter was on the, on the passenger side, the grandma driving. They in this big RV and no one, no seats or nothing in the back. The children just sitting there. When she turned the curve, they slid off, started sliding off and off the cliff. And then was so sad. I was like, oh my God, Lord. And then the little boy, the last one, because he looked like he was crawling. He was a little baby. And he started holding on to the end of the uh on the RV over the cliff. Because he was holding on for his life. And the grandma barely looked around and she said, Oh, she didn't even know the door was open. And that's when the little boy fell. And then when they was trying to go after the little boy, two demons with some wings stopped them. Told them they couldn't go, that they was theirs. Y'all, I don't know what this dream is. But I just got up and I started praying, Lord. Because sometimes I have dreams and they be for real. And the Lord haven't gave me what this, he told me yet about this, y'all. Because I just got up and I was like praying. I got to praying. And then y'all know what else was in my dream. I had to get up and start praying and casting out too. Because I don't know what this was. But while I was in my dream. And I was trying to wake up from my dream for a minute. Then, you know, I, I seen, I, I, in my dream, I heard like my door was open. Y'all know demonic stuff, I had to get to praying. And when some, 
I didn't see who it was, but then I heard somebody like a little cough or something. And then that's when I got up and I started praying, rebuking stuff, y'all. But, y'all, I'm just sharing this dream with y'all. It made me feel like that, how that man was at the end revealing this. They had this man in the middle of the, like a, a auditorium or something. You know, and, and they was having a man coming in and asking him how he know, because he solved the crime. He told him what happened. And they was like, how he know? And he said, the Lord told him. Y'all, something going on somewhere. But y'all already know, we always, that's why I say, but the dream was nothing about me. Y'all, I just had to share this dream with y'all real quick, y'all. It's 10 something. I said, let me share this dream with y'all. Because I said, I, mean, I wrote it down too, but I was like, let me say it on video. Because it's always good to have, like I like to do the videos on my dreams too, so I can look back at it. But it was so sad, y'all. And then the demons. Tell them they couldn't go past this point. It was two of them. Flying demons with wings. Stopped the woman and the daughter and told her they can't go nowhere. No, they couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't go after the kids anyway because they was on the edge of the cliff. But in my spirit, I knew these were no good demons. were no good angels either. I don't know what these were, y'all, but they were demons. They had wings. So I'm like, supposed to be fallen angels or something. I don't know what that was. But they were some demons with wings, y'all. There was two of them. They were black. Like red, reddish black. You know how they have like the blood colors all mixed together or something? And it was nighttime. Oh, it's a scary dream, but I'm praying now. Because too much going on in this world, y'all. And them babies, y'all. It's five of them. It was like teenagers. You know, it's like a family of five. And it, all of them look like they were boys. I ain't seen no girl. The oldest would look like he probably was like 15 or 16. And it went on down to the little baby. The one was crawling. Look like he barely looked trying to start to walk, y'all. That's the last one that was holding on. A toddler. Y'all, y'all be blessing Jesus' name, knowing things will never be the same. Worship and glorify His holy name, Jesus Christ, y'all.